Hey friends, I am so excited because we're on week five and this week we get to do some really cool collages that is going to put a lot of power in your hands. Um, and so I'm excited to see kind of what you can create. This week we're doing something that I've called colorful collage, but it's actually modeled after the art of a famous artist named Reggie Laurent. And Reggie Laurent is, does some really cool, um, abstract, really colorful art, and I think you guys will be um, excited to see. So in the written instructions, I'm also going to post pictures of Reggie Laurent's work and what the inspiration behind this project was. So go to your red art folder to start and find um, this. It says week five colorful collage and this light pink piece of paper, okay? You're also going to need to find a glue stick or white glue is fine, um, a pencil, some crayons and some scissors okay once you have all of that you're ready to get started so um first you can put the cover aside and the black paper oh you guys are also gonna need your white um color pencil that's in your curriculum bag okay or if you don't have a white color pencil white crayon will work just as fine so um the black is going to be your background so don't cut up the black okay this is what you're gonna glue things to um, in your package, you have a white, a orange, an orange, orange paper, purple paper. You have a neon yellow paper, a neon green paper, and a neon pink paper. And for some of you, the colors might be a little different than what I have, um, but you should have at least five different colors. Okay. All right, so like I said, you have five different colors plus the black. So set aside the black for now because that's your background. You don't want to cut it up. For all of these colors, you guys are going to get your pencil and you're just going to um, draw some different shapes. Okay, any shapes you want, big shapes, small shapes. Um, you guys are going to want really organic shapes. And organic means that the shapes have curved flowing edges and they're not very geometric, okay? So let me show you. Um, which color is going to be easiest for you guys to see? Maybe the yellow. Alright, so here I have my yellow paper, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw a really organic shape. So, curve, flowing edges. I didn't perfectly finish. There we go. Alright, that's a very organic shape. Let me draw another one. So, they can be big, small, um very wide so here's some examples of organic shapes okay they can be uh, long tall skinny fat anything you want all right so I would start I'm not sure exactly how many to instruct you guys to make because it depends on the size but I would start with maybe five different shapes per paper so Let's do, okay, purple, I think it's going to be hard for you to see. Let's do pink. Um, so let's make some more organic shapes. Some just really soft and flowing, okay? All right, so here's some more examples of organic shapes. You guys can really get super crazy and wild with these shapes, okay? They can be anything that you want. There's a kind of a crazy one that kind of looks like a starfish. Um, there's a crazy one right there. There's tons of shapes, and of course, um, in the written instructions, I'll post more examples for you guys. So once you have maybe four or five shapes on each color, um, then you can get started with the next step. So I'm going to draw my shapes and then I'll show you what the next step is. Alrighty, so once you have four or five shapes drawn on each of your colors um, in various sizes, you're ready to cut them out. So you're just going to get your scissors and you're going to cut out each of the shapes, okay? Um, this is a really good time for you to practice your cutting skills um, because guys, cutting skills go really far and there's something that you guys need to always practice um, even as adults and 4th and 5th graders so 3rd, 4th and 5th graders, sorry so you can um, now practice cutting Okay. so once you're done drawing you can cut all your shapes out and then I'll show you in the next step okay, so just cut them out 
Um, and some of the shapes are going to be easier to cut out than others, obviously, but I know you guys can do it, so. I really want you guys to get creative with your shapes also. So I don't want to just see a bunch of circles or a bunch of ovals. That's boring, and that doesn't capture the spirit of what um, Reggie Saint Reggie Laurent does, okay? So I'm going to cut these out, and then I'll show you guys what's next. All right, you guys, so I have all of my shapes cut out now. And I can start arranging them on my black backdrop, okay? So I might need more shapes, and I might not need all these shapes. So you just arrange them how they fit on your paper, and they don't overlap, okay? That's really important is that they don't overlap. So let me scooch all these off. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to start laying down my shapes, and... Seeing how they fit well, okay? It's kind of like a little puzzle that you made for yourself. It's kind of fun. So, here we go. So, you can see how you want there to be space in between each shape and you don't want them to touch or overlap, okay? So, you'll just work to find what shapes are going to fit in the best spots. And you'll just keep um, arranging them without gluing them down first to start. Um, and then you'll go back later and glue them down. So just keep going, arranging your shapes, how they fit. Um, You want to try to get as many shapes on the paper as you can. So fill up your paper, but don't let them touch or overlap, okay? You might not use all the shapes you have either. You might only use some of the shapes that you have cut out. And if you need smaller shapes to fill in spaces, Guess what? You have a I bet you have a bunch of scraps of your paper left over that you can cut out some smaller shapes to fill in places, okay? So you can't even see right there. There we go. Right. So keep going. And I'm flipping my some of mine over because some of them still have pencil marks over if you didn't cut out exactly on the lines. Um, so, I'm getting there. I'm getting almost, almost all my shapes are down on my paper. There we go, that one fits good right there. And this one is not really fitting anywhere, so, oh, there we go, actually, it fits right there. And I want to fit another one right here, but this one's too big, so I'm just going to trim it down a little. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, my whole paper, I have laid out my shapes and none of them are touching all the colors are there i have some leftover shapes i told you guys you might have some shapes left over um if you don't have enough shapes um you can go to your scrap paper that you probably have next to you and cut out some more shapes okay and if you have too many shapes that's okay you can just have some extras so once you have your shapes laid out on your black paper you can go ahead and take your glue stick um, or your white glue and glue them down okay so this is the best way is to lay them out without gluing them first then you can go back and pick up one shape at a time and glue them down 
All right, and here's another um, trick for you guys. This, I found that on black paper, the this purple ink sometimes shows up very white on the black paper. So my suggestion would to be not, would to be put the glue on the shape and then stick it down instead of putting the glue on the paper so that you don't get any of that glue resident, residue um, on the black paper to kind of make it look weird. So, all right, so I'm just gonna keep gluing and then I'll show you guys um, what to do next after you glue. Okay, so once you have all of your shapes glued down really nicely, none of them are touching, there's not too much black space in between each shape, you can go ahead and use crayons, color pencils, or markers to make different patterns on each of the colorful shapes, okay? Um, make sure that every shape on here has a pattern. It doesn't have to be a unique pattern. You can repeat the pattern a couple times. Use whatever kind of um, lines or shapes that you want, but just make it really creative, all right? Once that's finished, um, you're going to take in your creek a, um, I'm sorry, and once that's finished, you're going to go to your curriculum bag and find your um, white colored pencil. Um, or if you can't find the white colored pencil that I just kind of tossed in the bottom of your bag, you can find a white crayon. Um, but of course, they don't make white markers. So um, white crayon or white colored pencil will do. All right. And then you're just going to take your white crayon and you're going to draw on the black space in between each of the shapes, all right? And you're gonna, you can overlap, um, you can make loops, your lines can definitely touch, it's okay. Um, but just make sure that in between each shape there's some white crayon. And this is not, white crayon doesn't stand out super well so, um, when you're drawing, make sure to push down pretty hard. Okay. And I'm not sure how white color pencils do, because I forgot to, to save myself one when I was giving them all to you, but, um, they will work just as well. Alright, so, take your white crayon. And you're probably wondering why we're doing this, but this is actually something that uh, Reggie Laurent does when he's doing his paintings that are similar to this right so we're just copying um or doing something inspired by another artist which um is something that a lot of artists do is they are they get inspired by something another artist does um and they don't copy exactly what they do obviously because that's um wrong but they take it as inspiration and a lot of beginning artists do this too and i think this is something good for you guys to learn um, is to not copy something that somebody has done, that somebody has done. But if you enjoy a certain style or um, color scheme or something like that, you guys can um, take inspiration from that. So, I think I almost have all of my shapes outlined in white. Yep, there we go. All right, so now all of my um, shapes are outlined in white, and I'm finished. All right, you guys, so I know this project is a tiny bit more time consuming this week, but I thought it was really fun because you guys get to copy um, a certain style from a famous artist, and I think that's always good for you guys to learn about other artists. So here is, um, mine's not finished because I don't have patterns on each shape, but this is what kind of the outcome will look like. And then when you put patterns on each of your shapes, then yours is done, okay? If you're in third grade and you want to send me a picture, you can send it through Paint Square. Fourth and fifth grade, make sure to turn it in um, on the assignment that I make. I can't wait to see the really cool, colorful, crazy collages that you guys make this week. Um, I hope that you're having a good fifth week of distance learning, and I'll see you next week.